Welcome back, this is episode number 3 of this tutorial series slash crash course on Rust Noetic. You can find the series playlist in the description. And let's get started. So let's start to write some code and create our own node. But before that we need to set up something. We need to set up a Rust workspace. So to write some code we'll not just write uh, some programs like that randomly in our computer. We would need some kind of organization. And so a ROS workspace, or what we can call here a Catkin workspace, will allow us to correctly organize and package our application. And so if you work with a team, for example, or if you share your code online, this is the workspace that you're gonna share, okay? So you can easily work with other people. And I said the word Catkin, so a Catkin workspace. Why Catkin? Well, Catkin is simply the build system used uh, for ROS1. Okay, you don't need really to know much about it. Just need to know it's named Catkin for now. And it's very easy to use it. And you will be able to go into much more details later on, but for now, just remember Catkin. And so let's create our Catkin workspace. We are in our home directory and the easiest thing you can do for now is just to create the workspace here. And how to create the workspace? Well, we simply create a new folder with mkdir and let's name it catkin underscore ws. So why this? Well, this is simply a convention that is used by many people. So let's use the conventions here. So catkin underscore ws for workspace. Okay, then you can go inside your new folder and we are going to create a source. So src folder, make sure it's exactly src here inside the catkin workspace folder. Okay, so you have src inside catkin workspace. And now what we can do is we can start to compile so we can init the workspace and so we can do catkin underscore make. Make sure you do that inside the workspace but not inside the source folder. Catkin make and what do we have? Okay, a lot of stuff, a lot of logs, but basically this is gonna compile everything in the workspace, install stuff, etc. So let's do actually clear here and now let's do ls. You can see we have two new folders, build and devil. If I do catkin make again, you can see now it's much shorter. Why is that? Because, well, we don't have anything new in the source directory. So once you have something new in the source directory, for example, a new package or new C++ code you need to compile or stuff like that, well, you will need to do catkin make again. And that's going to add stuff in the build folder and in the devil folder. Now, I'm not going to go into details about everything that's uh, in those folders because that's not really important for now. Just one thing, if you go to the devil folder, here, as you can see, we have something that you should be familiar with, setup.bash script. As you can see, this is very similar to what we had in our global ROS installation. And well, guess what? We will need to source this bash script, this setup.bash, if we want to be able to use the code that we have written in our Catkin workspace. And so to source this, well, we will need to do, so let's go back in our home directory, source, and then home directory slash Catkin workspace slash devil, and then setup dot bash. Once you have sourced this, once you have run this command, you can use your custom ROS code. And so what we're going to do is, I'm just going to do jdit bash rc, so make sure you type the exact same command with tilde slash dot bash rc. And let's go back here. So at the end we have the source line for our global ROS installation. I'm going to add this line. So if you want to copy from the terminal, you do control shift and c then control V here after, that's very important. It should be after the global ROS installation. So the setup bash from the global installation and then the setup.bash from the workspace. 
you should have those two lines. Let's save this and quit the file. So you can see your global ROS installation as kind of a first workspace, so a first level, and then your custom workspace here as a second level, so a second layer on top of the first layer. And so you need to source both the global ROS installation and your Catkin workspace so that you can use your code with ROS functionalities. All right, and now if I open a new terminal, here I can be sure that my ROS installation is sourced, my Catkin workspace is sourced, so I can use my own code. All right, and now you have your Catkin workspace completely set up and configured. All right, that's the end of this episode. If you found it useful, you will definitely like my full course named ROS for Beginners. This course contains six hours of content and will teach you everything you need to create complete ROS applications. You can find the link in the description. Thank you for watching, see you in the course or in the next tutorial of the series.